To find the oxidation state for each element here in FeBr2, iron 2 bromide, we'll use these general rules. The first thing to notice is that there's no negative or positive sign after the compound. And because of that, it's a neutral compound. All the oxidation numbers, they're going to add up to zero. So that's kind of important. We won't find iron in our rules. It's a transition metal, so it can have different oxidation states depending on what it's bonded to. As we go down, though, bromine, that's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. So it'll have a minus 1 oxidation state, with a few exceptions. So we have minus 1 for each of those bromine atoms. That means for the bromine here, we have 2 times minus 1. That's minus 2. So the iron, it has to be plus 2. So that's its oxidation state. So those are the oxidation numbers for FeBr2, iron 2 bromide. One thing to note, it's called iron 2 bromide because of this plus 2 oxidation state. So we call it iron 2 because of the plus 2. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.